Hey, hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot and Oracle card reading. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. Remember to check out your rising and moon and Venus signs for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. There is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these style of readings. Capricorn, I'd like to thank you so much for supporting my channel. I am truly grateful. The likes they really help me out. And I have two placements in Capricorn. That makes me a Capricorn as well. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck. One card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. One Divine Feather Message. That is the angelic insights and healing energies that are associated with finding feathers. And then you're also going to get a famous quote. Those are at the end. Here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. This is the background and the basis of the matter. Capricorn, you're feeling pretty good right now. This is Mars in Pisces, water energy. This is shared love. It's, it's the pinnacle of happiness. This is someone that's had it all. It's manifesting a home or the feeling of home. It could have been the best relationship you've ever experienced. The perfect relationship. This is focusing on what you do have and not on what you have not yet received. The rainbow is symbolic of the connectedness with God and with the creation of the fulfillment of great wishes the fulfillment of lifelong dreams. It's a realization of what matters and counting your blessings. It's been alignment with your true nature and all in your life is in harmony with your higher self and purpose. It's feeling the bliss and you should be enjoying yourself fully at this time. This represents spiritual connections in your relationships. And now your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Capricorn. Air energy, the Ten of Swords, way too much overthinking. Now this is a Gemini card, air energy. This is an ending. Also in this position, this can be a block to your forward progress. This can be a betrayal or the end of a period of trials and hardships. It can be the end of a lack of support. But now the worst is over. Maybe you felt you'd been a victim, you'd been betrayed to or lied to. But you can draw wisdom from this defeat. This is a lesson learned. It's no making the same mistakes twice. It's painful endings. There's no return from, from this. It's a broken trust. It can no longer be fixed, so you'll need to start manifesting a new beginning. This is allowing change rather than fighting it. It's preparing and planning to cope with mental pain. These are deep wounds that you've received, but this is the final ordeal, and it won't last forever, and you will survive. Now a new beginning must be your focus could be the thoughts that are hurting you. It's a change to come that's due to suffering. It could also represent back pain. And this ordeal is going to pass. That is the dawn breaking over the horizon, the sun. This is the end of something, a relationship, a circumstance, or a false way of seeing a situation. It rings of truth and clarity of vision, which brings about the inevitable death. And that dawn breaking gives a promise of rebirth. This is the clearing of the ground for something new. The Ten of Cups with the Ten of Swords is feeling conflicted. It's knowing you should be happy but still affected by past hurt. This is an overload of emotions. Two tens in your reading represent change. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Capricorn, the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, 
could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is a person that's full of faith. They're full of inspiration and they're very attractive. This can be a male or a female. It is just the energy. This is someone that has great power to attract that that they want. It's someone that's successful in their undertakings. And they love their home and growing things. They're full of kindness and generosity. And they're full of, of the love of life and the eagerness for experiences. She is wise and passionate. And she has a strong sexual appetite. And she approaches life with such openness and faith that the world seems to take care of them. They're honest and sincere, but they do not dominate. This is someone that's holding to their vision of the possible. There's natural warmth and confidence and sexual magnetism. This one shines in their endeavors and they give good advice. And they can provide valuable assistance. The Ten of Cups with the Queen of Wands is feeling like you should be re-energized now. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number 21 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the world. This is Earth Energy, Capricorn. This is one of your cards, Capricorn. The four signs, the fixed signs, they're the guides that lead us on to the next phase in life. That's Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. She is holding wands that are lit on both ends. That represents true illumination and a mandate from heaven to continue on in your path. This is an elevation in life and being supported by unseen forces. This is a resolution after struggle, and it's a knowing, not a mere believing that the divine is in all and is all. Both the Wheel of Fortune and the World Card refer to the cylindrical nature of our lives and the progressions through its cycles. My readings, they show that progression. This is coming full circle. It's as above, so below. This is something that's ended. It has to end. It's feeling accomplished. This can also be a career change, a move to a new place, a new relationship. It's recognition and rewards and acclaim. This is the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new one, and you have mastered the complexities of your inner nature, and you feel supported by your inner resources. And now this is a time of supreme self-confidence and victory, and you have put your trust where it belongs, in a higher power, and you will reap the rewards. And now many possibilities and opportunities are available to you, and you are free to choose what pleases you. The Ten of Cups with the World card represents spiritual bliss. This can be a fairy tale ending. It's leveling out, leveling up, and the world will be showering you with emotional abundance. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this Capricorn. The Knight of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, could be in your chart or someone else's. This is something that's rushing in, could be a communication or a person, they bring drama. This can be someone that's very opinionated. Or it could be some kind of news. Unwanted, maybe. It could be even coming in at a bad time. Maybe this is some kind of mental conflict or differences of opinion. You'll need to use diplomacy and honesty. Too much eagerness can create problems. This person is a revolutionary. They're impatient. They're rushing. They're a debater. This is the speed at which debate changes people. This can be someone that rushes to judgment. It could be surprising. Maybe they're trying to win an argument. 
It could be a double talker. And opposition makes them try even harder. Or maybe they're just driving too fast and they're reckless and full of bravado. They are driven. This is someone that has an attractive magnetic personality and they easily draw attention and affection. But they can be relentless. They, are, they can also selfishly pursue their own goals. The Ten of Cups with the Knight of Swords is high hopes about a communication that comes rushing in. The Ten of Swords with the Queen of Wands is creating chaos. This, There's been a failure, but they still have courage and faith. The Ten of Swords with the World card is fear, fear of failure, and that can block your growth if you let it. The Ten of Swords with the Knight of Swords is a cold silence that is the action. It could be the end of a conversation or an idea. The Queen of Wands with the World card. Now, this person is charismatic. They have a very charming personality, and they can win you over. They may be voluptuous, curvy, and attractive, and they dress really nice, and they have a lot of responsibility, and they like music and dancing, and they will give you candid opinions, and they're willing to expand their horizons. The Queen of Wands with the Knight of Swords is truth and defending beliefs. It's delivering the right words to describe a complex creative project. The world with the Knight of Swords is well-developed communication skills. It could be representing politics. This is a cycle of drama or chaos. And now here is your Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed card number 33. And wow, it is chaos and conflict. Number 33, chaos and conflict. I have not yet read this one yet. It means disarray, being at cross purposes with another, the tension of opposites, and the value of chaos before order. The oracle's message is opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere. But consider the value of chaos that serves you well, as you become unmoored by it. Scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross-purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes, and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflicts provide a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. Here's the relationship message. Stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, and what is really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable. If that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear, and you will be in a much better place than before, for the storm will have passed, blazing a new path for new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before, if you use this time constructively. Prosperity message, circumstances appear to be chaotic, but everything that is happening now is in truth shaking things up so you can find the real path to your prosperity. Yes, it's a stormy time, and it feels that there are opposing forces wherever you turn. Be reassured that there is divine purpose in this chaos. Everything that doesn't work is being taken from you so the truest parts of yourself remain. The events occurring now are essential for your ultimate prosperity. This chaos is divinely inspired, even though it doesn't appear to be that way now. In time, you will know this to be true. Here's your feather message. It's a gray and rather fluffy. And it is 
ostrich. The choice is clear for you now. Follow the wisdom and truth in you, in you feel in your heart. Ostrich. The choice is clear for you now. Follow the wisdom and truth you feel in your heart. And now here is your advice from a famous person. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. Don't wish it were easier. Wish that you were better by Jim Ron. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.